So this is Barramundi. This is, uh, I get very excited talking about Barramundi. It's, this one is uh, produced by Australis. Why do I get so excited about Barramundi fish? Well, for starters, it's arguably the most healthy fish that you could possibly eat. Um, why is that? Well, it contains the highest levels of omega-3s of any white fish out there. And for those of you that don't know, omega-3s are uh, a, um, a fatty acid that support uh, brain health, aids in cardiovascular health, it helps fight depression and anxiety, uh, omega-3s you know, can improve eyesight or eye health, um, not eyesight but eye health, uh, it, it's been known to reduce symptoms of uh, ADHD in children, and this particular fish um, and the way it's raised, and it is farm raised, however, it's raised in Vietnam in what they call open pens. So these are not um, fish that are living, you know, in, inland in some kind of like holding tank. These fish live out in the open ocean, um, but in large, huge pens. Um, it says right on their website, they only occupy 1% of the total volume or total space that they actually live in. It's, in other words, their cages or nets, whatever they want to call them they only take up 1% of the total amount of space they have to, to, to live. So the idea is they're living in the open ocean, so they're getting fresh water as the tide comes in and out, um, much better than living inland and in, um, in these crowded ponds <coughs> or tanks. Anyway, going on. Uh, so this fish, uh, everybody knows, you know, salmon also has a lot of, um, you know, good qualities and uh, high in omega-3s that you hear about. Well, guess what? This has half the number of calories of salmon. And it's got even more protein. It's got 32 grams of protein in every, you know, in six ounces. So uh, each package is 12 ounces. There are two fillets generally in each each um, each package. There's only two grams of fat, which you can see in each uh, each fillet. And like I said, that ratio of two grams of fat to 32 grams of protein, that's almost impossible to find. Even cottage cheese that uh, you know uh, weightlifters use that these these are arguably better um, <laughs> better stats than that. And so. Um, it tastes delicious for one thing, but in addition, compared to say salmon or some other types of fish, this fish does not smell. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I would say it doesn't smell at all when you cook it, but it's hardly smells at all. It's actually known for that, that it doesn't give off that fishy smell that's gonna make your whole house stink. Um, mercury, that's a huge thing for most people, especially pregnant women. This is raised, it has zero mercury. The, the Australia's company, they test it. Um, zero mercury or traceable amount, you know, just almost not significant. That's one of the reasons why pe most people can't eat a lot of fish every week or limit, they have to limit their fish portions, the mercury. And that's how I found this stuff. I was looking for the low mercury. Um, I'd also tried a, <laughs> a barramundi um, years ago in Australia, but which is where it's native to. But um, yeah, the, 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 the mercury thing is huge for me because I can eat this pretty much as much as I want, uh, you know, per week without getting sick of it. Sick of it. The, produce it, they give them in terms of what they eat, because that's also a big issue in terms of farm raising. It's mostly a vegetarian diet and some fish, you know, like chop, you know, fish meal, um, you know, that that's that's wild caught and obviously given to them. And they advertise that they do not, in other words, the amount of fish meal that they use, it's a one for one. So they're not using, um, they're not taking out more fish from the sea than they arguably um, raise. So it's antibiotic free, mercury free, and also hormone free. Um, it's really like a, I don't want to call it a wonder fish, but it's just, it's, it's, it's tastes great. And, um, as I said, the cooking is very easy. I'm going to show you that in a second. I'll show you what these look like too. They come, you know, seal like this each, they come to, um, generally it's two fillets, um, or in each package. And as soon as they're caught, they're fillet and they're, they're flesh frozen. Now a huge thing for people I know is, Bones. Well, I can tell you that I've been using, eating this stuff for, for over a year and a half, and um, I've never gotten a single bone, let alone like any kind of even like a, a hair size bone or anything, nothing. Um, but yeah, these are the packets, and they're flash frozen after caught and filleted, and then they are vacuum sealed. And I'm going to show you how I actually, how easy it is to, to frost them. You don't have to sit these out and whatever, because they're vacuum sealed in these packages individually, you can either defrost one or both, but I'm going to show you in a bowl of water in about an hour, you put these in a cold, uh, bowl of cold water or some kind of shallow pan. Within an hour, they'll be ready to, um, you know, to cook. Um, you actually, maybe after the hour, you, you let them rest a little, just get to, if you want to, um, Fry them, you can cook them right away. If you want to do them in the pan, um, you can let them warm up a bit uh, in terms of, you know, get to room temperature because you don't want to be cooking 
uh, cold fish. But um, let me show you that in a second. And then I'm going to, not a cooking uh, show, it's not a cooking channel or anything, but I want to show you how easily it cooks up, how fast it cooks up, and how well. So, yeah. I'm using a you know, just a regular clear glass bowl. It could be anything really. It doesn't have to be glass. It doesn't have to be a bowl. I need to cover the uh, cover the fish. I just put them in like this. Maybe a little bit large for this bowl, but nonetheless, it'll work. Just fill it with cold water. Now, intuitively, you think, oh well, I'll use hot water. I'll defrost it quicker. Well, no, you don't want to do anything that can actually start to cook the fish um, or or disturb the meat. So. Surprisingly, cold water works well to defrost frozen items like this, that are obviously that are vacuum sealed. So I'll fill the rim. Usually these fillets fit in there, you can see it's starting to fit, but as long as they're covered, you're good to go. And I'll just leave that literally for an hour and uh, come back and you'll see that it's pretty soft or enough, you know, soft enough to take out and cook. Either that way, you know, you can fry this stuff, you can pan fry it, uh, pan sear it. Um, you can broil it, you can do anything. It's very versatile fish and um, you can put as much sauce, you can put as little sauce, you can put some herbs, very versatile. Make taco wraps, fish wraps, it's delicious. So I'll be back to you in an hour and we'll just see. All right, so it's been just uh, just over an hour and you can now see these are fully defrosted. By the way, this uh, line down here, that's just the fat in the fish, which is um, actually good because very hard to overcook it um, and again it doesn't taste too fishy it actually adds a little bit of flavor and um, so anyway yeah. never had to change the water one good thing about these um, on some other frozen fish you actually have to use scissors or something else to open them but um, I'm gonna try to if you notice right here there's a little notch and um, that just makes it super easy to <laughs> As I'm saying that, it's just easy to tear open like that. And also, you'll notice there's not a lot of water or excess water in in this bag, and that's because it's flat frozen right away as soon as it's uh, filleted. So I'll, you know, when I pull it out, you'll notice you know, just very little extra water or fish water in there. And what I do is I just dump that right down. And then I'll wash that out. Put the fish, um, just, um, but when I put the fish, uh, <laughs> wash it out so that it doesn't smell. When I put the fish bag in the in the bin, this is what it looks like that way, out of the bag. And um, I'm going to pan fry it for you. Show you how it cooks up real easy and real fast. All right, let's do that. All right, here are the fillets again in uh, hopefully what's a better light. And um, right here I have a carbon steel pan. I'll actually, I should do a separate review on it. It's a wonderful pan for uh, pan searing. Um, different from all others. That's why it's got this look. But um, I'm preheating this on a really low temperature. Um, I'm using avocado oil, uh, also from Olvo's. And I should mention that um, that's where I got the um, the fillets from uh, Barramundi, the Australis, they sell it there. Um, I usually try to wait till it's on sale and I'll buy a ton of it, 10, 14 pounds at a time. Um, but anyway, the reason you use avocado oil, uh, for those of you that don't cook, it's got a higher smoke point, which means you can get the pan a lot hotter um, and which is better for searing uh, before this starts to burn or smoke. Um, it says it right on here, even it can go up to 450 degrees. And all it takes is just a little bit of oil tablespoon or so and with the right pan it won't stick to the pan. It's got the oil pan. To keep it really simple I'm gonna just put a little bit of this Mrs. Dash garlic and herb salt free. I like to keep the sodium low when I can. I will uh, I'll leave a link for that too. And I just give it a nice little coating basically. Just like that. And then I'll throw that onto the pan face down and when that's Ready, I'll just flip it, put a little more while it's in the pan. Make sure this is high enough. Carbon steel pans are unique. I will do a separate review, but it's um, quite different. And here we go. Now, granted, these are not room temperature, which is really important normally for cooking fish or pan searing fish. Um, these are a little bit colder. I haven't waited. I'm actually starving, want to eat, so hopefully it doesn't stick anyway. Just a few minutes on each side, flip it, 
and the unit. In the meantime, I'm going to show you something else. Something that goes great when you're, especially with like fish tacos or anything like that, it's this. It's Japanese mayo. And there actually is no label on there. Um, I've done a whole separate um, <laughs> review on this, uh, but it's made by QP. It's called QP Mayo. And um, there's a famous YouTuber named Brody Moss who's uh, made this stuff popular. He calls it the secret sauce. It's not quite a secret, but it is delicious. And I do recommend it on any type of fish for that matter, but especially the wraps. I do use these for wraps. Um, I'll pan sear them like this or fry them up. I put a little, you know, put some breadcrumbs, uh, panko breadcrumbs or regular. Uh, when it's done, I just basically, it cuts down, or I, not cuts, but I can just poke right down the middle, cut it in half. I got two nice strips, throw that on the tortilla and um, I put some tomato and it's delicious. Um, you can start to see even from this angle, this is getting white. It's only been a few minutes. That means it's cooking on the un underside. Just to keep it healthy, I'll put some fresh vegetables, or lately I've been into these little mini tomatoes. I got these at Whole Foods too. They're called like little wonderful tomatoes or something like that. And uh, they're just delicious. I sometimes just eat them raw, but um, they make a great accompaniment. They're quite sweet and um, good for any kind of healthy side dish. Now, one of the tricks with um, cooking fish, you'll know when it's ready because it'll basically lift itself, meaning, um, or lift free itself, meaning when you put that spatula underneath, it'll come free. If it if it hasn't if it doesn't come free easily, it still needs more time on the other side or on that side rather. So you'll know when it's time. And you can see how easily that comes off. Flip, flip. And even though this is on there, this literally comes right scratches right off. You can eat that, but I'm going to mess up the other thing. So I'm not too worried. When I used to use an old pot like that kind or even a, a, a complete stainless steel, I used to have problems with sticking all the time. It was horrible. <laughs> um, it prevented me from you know, eating fish for that matter. And I actually skip the step of putting the uh, herbs and spices on the other side. I flipped it too early. I wasn't even thinking about it. I was doing this video. But um, usually I'll put some of the herbs that I just put on. And um, you can add some lemon juice if you like. A little bit of butter if you like. Any way you like it. But um, in fact, you know, this is the point. Another few minutes on this side and it'll be done. And it'll be gorgeous. But I just literally wanted to show you how easily it cooks up. Um, Get in there. Granted, that's the garlic, so it doesn't even pan sear as nice as it looks, but um, it tastes delicious. Again, it's super healthy for you, full of the omega 3s, only 150 calories in each um, in each fillet or in each six ounces, and uh, 32 grams of protein, which is absolutely amazing for, for any, any any kind of thing. Mercury free, antibiotic free, hormone free. Um, and uh, raised sustainably. So get yours. Um, enjoy. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe down below. And um, I will be doing a, uh, a full review on this um, carbon steel pan because they're just amazing. It's changed my whole way of cooking. So anyway, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you soon.